Okay, today is October 15th, 2016, and right now at 925 in the uh, foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 64 degrees. The relative humidity is 81%. Uh, the dew point is 58 degrees. We have a, a barometric pressure of 30 inches even. Okay, and uh, we're looking at the northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that huge storm system moving into uh, Washington and Oregon and also into California. We have jet stream flow, very high speed flow, right? all the way through into California. There is some uh, breakup uh, right here. We have a transmitter in the area of this uh, uh, jet stream flow. And I will show that here on the uh, Intellicast map. Let's take a look first at the at the rain uh, going on here in the north uh, west. We can see that pretty much the entire uh, three states are getting some amount, some heavy rain actually up in uh, near Portland up here. And uh, also uh, in California, if we uh, zoom in on California, we can see uh, that uh, California is getting rain all the way down past San Francisco and also right down here near uh, Point Conception. But that's about it. It's not getting any any further than uh, Point Conception. And there's nothing uh, in L.A., anywhere near L.A. and these uh, desert areas out here. And that will probably uh, be the case. Uh, we did see uh, right around sunset there was a huge uh, storm cloud bank moving in into uh, from the west, but uh, that didn't develop into anything at all. Uh, the humidity is is uh, is like I say it's around eighty one percent. That's just not going to cut it. Okay, uh, we need about eighty five or ninety ninety percent. Humidity, uh, the dew point is, I guess, say 58 degrees, uh, but there's just no moisture in the air. There's just uh, no clouds are, are not there. They were there for, for a period of time, but uh, they've uh, moved away. So anyhow, we're getting a lot of rain up in the uh, northern part of the state, right here near Carson City and, and parts of Nevada. There's some heavy rain. And uh, so that's all good news. Uh, but then we look at the size. Look at the size. Of, there actually, there's two lows here. There's one here and one here. And we see that there is a transmitter that is uh, manipulating this jet stream flow. All of that. Uh, there's some evaporation right in here. We can see that right here. Look at that. Everything is evaporating. If we go back to this uh, water vapor map. We can see that there is a transmitter uh, burning a. A path right here and that is uh, causing the moisture to evaporate which will cut off the, the feed uh, to this storm system right there which is uh, moving into Washington and Oregon. Now if we look at this in the uh, western US water vapor loop we can see the size of that storm and also the high speed flow right into California here. We've got a transmitter right along this area which is uh, sort of barricading the jet stream from getting into uh, the interior of this uh, storm here, which actually has uh, two big lows. We've got one here and one right here. And we have this uh, blockade right here. This is a, a man-made uh, transmitter-generated uh, fence right along here, which is preventing this jet stream from getting into the center of that system. And we can see the uh, geometric patterns on the uh, the core of that system. We've got a very straight edge as well. Got a transmitter right here that is uh, hitting that core. You can see here if we stop this and scroll through, we can. Uh, Right here we have a fairly straight edge and a right angle right up at the top there. We can see that. So there is a definitely manipulation going on. Uh, there are transmitters uh, affecting that uh, at the center of that low pressure system. Okay. Let's take a look next at the uh, surface analysis map. We can see those two storms, these two lows. We've got a storm right here indicated. 
and we have a, a low right behind it with a trough indicated as a gale. These are both moving in together, and we have a couple of lows right up to the uh, northwest. These are fairly low pressure, 974 and 979, respectively. We and They're moving in, and we have a cold front right here, which is should be moving into uh, Southern California, but we've got high pressure, and uh, that will uh, blockade a lot of that uh, moisture and the opportunity for rain in Southern California. Once again, there's the jet stream flow. We can see that is running right into Central and Northern California. Here's the uh, National Hurricane Center map. There is a new disturbance right here. Actually, this is the same one. It's intensified. We've got a 40% chance of hurricane formation. Okay, now here's the SSEC uh, water vapor map. We can get a good view of that jet stream flow going into California. Looks like we have some chemtrail spraying going on right, right about in here. Also, we have uh, we have some chemtrail spraying out here as well, right near Hawaii. See the trails being laid out right, right in this area. If we go back to the big map again, we can see what's happening in uh, near Hawaii. We have a basically a right angle right here. We stop the uh, stop the loop right about here. We can put the envelope in that contour. And that is very, that is a pr pretty well-defined right angle right there. All right. And so they are keeping, uh, they are preventing uh, all of this weather. Here we have uh, heavy thunderstorms uh, all along this area. And this uh, area here is being cleared out with a transmitter. We can see that. And uh, that will maintain uh, good conditions around the uh, Hawaiian Islands. Now, we have a, uh, as I just showed, uh, we have a disturbance identified right out here, which is really nothing compared to what we've got way over here and right down here on the corner. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, run that again. We can see that uh, right angle firming up. We have that this is a, a disturbance right here. This is being targeted. We can see that imploding blast pattern on that. If we go to the, uh, the uh, infrared loop and uh, kind of get an idea of what that right angle is looking like right here. Shows up much better in the water vapor loop. It always does. Okay. Uh, let's take a look next at the uh, pressure maps. We have the sea level pressure analysis here. And we can see those two lows uh, moving into the uh, into uh, Washington State. And uh, we have some low pressure uh, right over uh, Colorado and part of uh, New Mexico. We've got high pressure out here in the uh, East Pacific, just off of the California coast. All right, let's look at the uh, 500 millibar map, and we can see some squiggly lines all up and down the uh, area where the uh, High Sierra is located. And we've been getting some reports on the forum of heavy chemtrails spraying all up and down the uh, High Sierra. And that's interesting because uh, that would uh, prevent the uh, full impact of the snow and rain uh, that should be moving in and, and uh, dumping snow and rain and uh, in this mountainous area where we've got. Uh, a lot of rivers that fill uh, reservoirs and so on. Here we see the jet stream. We've got these lows up here. And a lot of squiggly lines, which indicates varying degrees of high uh, and low pressure mixed together from these transmitters at work. Also, here's the uh, 300 millibar map. Same, same thing going on. We've got high pressure all through this area, as indicated. So. Uh, the uh, forecast is that we may get some rain, but uh got to have some moisture in the air to do that. Uh, we do have some humidity, or uh, the relative humidity is 81%. Now, if that goes up a little bit, uh, we might see some drizzle. We'll have to keep an eye on things. Uh, 
here's the southwest or uh, rainbow loop and we can see that LA's right about here where the pen tip is but there's just really nothing getting in anywhere near uh, Southern California okay so that is the uh, report for today and uh, we'll uh, keep an eye on this system and what's going on up there and uh, we'll do another update tomorrow Sunday okay that's it